knows what she's so mad about? The bloody plant is clearly joined up all the way along, so how else was it going to get pulled out of the ground? Destroying the very farmland you're trying to plough. Also, anyone who's played Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley knows that you go out and pull up all this shit before you plough the land. <laughs> no. Oh, I see they went and made a joke out of it in the end. Okay, removing the sin, I guess. CGI. <laughs> Bossiness equals a measure of physical strength in these reporters' minds. <laughs> Rushing into the house, not seeing Goku inside, and yet still going on to reveal his plan to buy DVDs featuring boobs. Probably because it's not a pun, it's just wordplay. A pun would be if he said, nothing beats peace, and if someone disturbed me, I'll give them a piece of my mind. Is that not something you should say immediately after the accident and not during his seventh bowl of food you or someone else made for him to eat? <laughs> you guys can feel free to put me on the right path here, but I'm just straight up sending him for being a dick. I mean, I'll happily admit that I haven't watched Dragon Ball Z since I was about 13 years old, so that's about 16 years ago now. But I just thought if Vegeta had a kid and then treats these two like this, then it's fully warranted to call him, as previously stated, a dick. <laughs> Piling up so much ice cream that you'll never be able to reach the bottom layer before it's all melted away. Like a fucking ice cream noob. <laughs> Did they even pay? This crowd doesn't look very crowd-like. None of the partygoers are actually holding anything that could create the light shown in the first crowd picture. Unless that's meant to be their clothing? But then what's with the black spots in the middle? Are they naked people? <laughs> This goes on for some time. These particular physical reactions fit really oddly with the verbal reactions. There was something green in his glass and nothing on his spoon, and now there's something on his spoon and nothing in his glass. Really? What gave it away? Was it all the fucking cars? Your whole family being able to fly and yet you still feel the need to travel places by car. <laughs> Going through all the trouble of creating a unique defense system to guard your grand prize but then having it connected to a simple visible outlet on your ship is fucking stupid. Installing an alarm type sound purely for when the door simply opens. Oh, 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 
In fairness to the kid, the line actually broke. Well, clearly not going all out then, like you said. He could quite easily have attacked him back and knocked him out before he even managed to go to Super Saiyan 2. <sighs> so yet again, you still f***ing weren't going all out? What is the point in actually saying, I'm going to go all out and then just go through all of your phases of differing power levels? Just go all out from the start! This goes on for some time! I call this mode Convicted Criminal Goku or Mental Patient Goku due to the whole no eyebrows thing. <laughs> Slide exhale to the inhale cliche. <laughs> Vegeta totally has Endeavor written all over him behind closed doors. Poor old Trunks ought to steer clear of the kettle for a while. Disclaimer, if you haven't seen Boku no Hero Academia Season 2, you won't know what the f*** I'm talking about. Ha 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 sexual assault. Ha 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 Clapping sound effect helps us the viewer know that people are cla- Wait a minute. People aren't clapping. Also, who claps and cheers for people who visit a birthday party? Talking without moving your lips? Animal abuse. What the f did I do wrong? It's the stuff they make anime boobs out of. 30 seconds of talking about pudding and how he wants it. Backhanding a woman like a major douchebag. He's hardly hiding when he's standing out in the open alongside all these people. This guy would be good at anime sins. Says I'll give you one chance, but then confusingly holds up two fingers. No. Five long ass minutes going through a game of rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Goku X Machina. Goku! Goku! Okay, we get it. They're all the same person. How did he know what the secret grand prize is though? They haven't explained it, but of course, if they do, I'll remove this sin down the road somewhere. No, she means the food she ate yesterday, and by whom she meant stomach, and of course she's saying she's pregnant, so don't ask such stupid questions! Although the transformation itself was pretty cool and the end result was good, I have to say that this took way too long to actually finish up entirely. I think this is one episode that's similar to what I used to see as a kid, which was multiple episodes dedicated purely to powering up and such. But like I said, even though it was able to drag on for years, I still enjoyed the final result. So for the first time here, I'm going to be giving the anime a neutral sin. <laughs> Dragon Ball 
Why would he still think the Dragon Balls are even still there after physically seeing the dragon arrive and then later depart with all seven balls flying off in different directions? 30 seconds of ah, charging. Of course it does. Flying this thing straight requires consistently pulling on two levers. Well, it's not like a random thing that you can say, why now does it have to happen? Because it happened after they created a fucking god. What, me, Dad? No. Sorry, I meant... Okay, poor choice of words. Oh, I just want to be loved. Literally 40 seconds of staring at each other and not saying a single word. CGI. That's what he said. That's what she said. ビル様は... No. Sixty seconds of charging and a really long Kamehameha attack, which made my ears bleed. Song. Yeah. Uh, shut up! You know I'm not talking to you. I just want to be loved. Why did they even come all of this way? I thought at first it was just to observe from a distance, but now they're trying to randomly get right in the middle of a battle between gods, which will decide the fate of the planet. <laughs> Jesus, that's like five exhale and then inhale cliches within the last 60 seconds. I let the first four go by and gave the benefit of the doubt, but now it's like, just say something. Again? My ears. There's so much blood everywhere. Why must he keep on charging up like this in the same high-pitched tones? It's wrecking my very soul. Also, if you guys are heading down to say I should watch the dub, just keep in mind there's only about 30 or so episodes out right now compared to like 110 in Japanese. Also, also, almost every single video I've made on this channel is in Japanese. So yeah, if you're ever wondering why I always use the sub version, then now you know. <laughs> And randomly, everyone fell except for you and your crew. One minute and 15 seconds of charging up. Now that's got to be a record, hasn't it? Is there any battle where they consistently charge up for even longer than 75 seconds? Let me know in those comments below. And hey, whilst you're down there, no shame in hitting that like button to show some love. Here I'm sending the fact that they just felt the need to flip back and forth quite so much between oh, I'm trying really hard to beat you, oh just kidding, well, I'm trying super hard to beat you, lol not really, it's just kind of predictable and silly that we have an entire episode of Beerus looking like he's fighting hard and then the next he's hardly even trying again. <laughs> He assumes. I mean, he's right, he would die, but he doesn't know that. Only those gods on that other world who keep nattering to each other have said that so far.
Okay, I'm straight up removing a sin here for Saturn's reaction and wanting to protect his daughter. That was actually something I really wanted to see and I got a taste of it when he tried to stop the battle as well. I think the reaction is worthy of a sin removal because for once they're acting like normal characters who get character development, which in all honesty is something I really hadn't seen before now. 100% 100 My my, this is quickly becoming a kind of cliche for this anime, so I think I shall call it. I wasn't really going all out, but I am now cliche. He didn't notice at all, you pointed it out. <laughs> I don't get it, I don't get it! What are you laughing about? I don't know what it's about. If he's struggling to breathe underwater, then how is he managing in outer space? Aside from kinetic energy, when you're getting punched in your stupid face. Vegeta has an ass like an ironing board when you'd think he'd be a thick boy. <sighs> really? Okay, so this isn't a sim, but it's actually just a reach out to you massive Dragon Ball Super fans out there. If you happen to know what song this is playing in the background, it would be awesome if you could let me know in the comments below. I've been trying to find it for ages, as I really like it, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> this thing burns away some of his clothing, but not all of it. Hey, Goku, me. Um, that's a little bit of a stretch, wouldn't you say? I don't understand why he's telling him this when he was literally right there in front of her along with everyone else when she mentioned that she was pregnant. And you're definitely going to manage that by standing there gathering dirt. No. What could possibly give you that wild idea? And they can tell where he's from just by looking at him even though they come from another planet. Couldn't they have at least given him some facial hair or some shit so he doesn't look quite so much like a 12 year old with a grown woman? <laughs> yup, she loves her husband that much that she doesn't even include him in the please spare the following people speech. <laughs> Getting eggs in his hair when he was cracking them all over the work surface. <laughs> Although he did cook at your birthday party to save the day. <gasps> we scasm. A button on his watch creates a silly costume. <laughs> Pretend fighting, even jokingly whilst holding a little baby, is silly as fuck. <laughs> and when this goes wrong, that's how people end up with a really low IQ.
育てよう。So, this is the thing. Just in case you weren't entirely sure where the banks come from, they are clearly labelled bank because in the future there will only be one bank. That's probably true, actually. サイヤ人の常識だかなんだか知らないけどトランクスが生まれても無視よ無視 And people in the comment section for the first part video say he's a good dad, eh? この鉄拳ヘビみたいな像はなんだ It's a giant snake-like statue ビルス様も変わったとこで寝てんなさっさとつけろえぇ、ーこれつけて修行するんか。Net cracking sound effects brought to you by shotgun reloading sound effects.com, the only place for shotgun loading related sound effects. Fist clenching sound effects helps us, the viewer, know that fists are being clenched. But you are planning on forgiving them afterwards? Clearly confusing being smart with being physically strong. Bill's Sama, Ome Zame Deska? No! You guessed it! CGI! Sekaku ya te kita noni, Otomo da chiga minna koro sare ちゃ te i tara. Bulma would be good at anime sins. Yes, really. What the hell, girl? You're not fing listening? Ah, I see Piccolo over there is making use of the same old shotgun reloading sound effects as Freezer was at the end of Everything Wrong with Dragon Ball Super Part 2. Well, to be fair, you have killed him before, so he has experienced that. Also, if this is his aim, then why doesn't he simply kill them all with his finger pistols? Yeah, well, joke's on you because he's probably not shaved everywhere. Do you want to do anything else with your hands there, dude? Give a slap or something? I don't know. These guys just stand there and wait for his attack like a bunch of silly billies. So, uh, is he. is he gonna do anything? No, seriously, what the hell is taking so long? It's like they ran out of the animation budget for six seconds and said, okay, we'll play a little music over the top and then start paying you guys again. <laughs> That's moment when the situation is so awkward that you randomly blurt out a personal fact about yourself. He is way too calm about rubbing dicks with this dude. Just saying. Easy! All of them! Hey, now sex is perfectly natural and normal. Just always make sure to use protection, people. 
ウィンク誰ですあなたタゴまでありませんねお忘れですか Oh I'm guessing something from ジャジャー苦しいですかけど私の孫悟空への恨みはまだまだこんなもんじゃありませんよ I've got to say, to the anime's credit, these scenes are far better than they were in the movie where they were just basically quickly glossed over. Here we get to see way more of Frieza's personality that made him one of the best villains of Dragon Ball Z overall. For this, I think I'll remove a sin here. My word, this moment is so much more satisfying in the anime than the movie, I swear. I've seen a lot of people rag on Dragon Ball Super for redoing what was done in the movies, but honestly, I think this is far better than the movie so far. I'm actually going to remove yet another sin here for this, since they made it genuinely feel like they were in peril rather than in the movie where it felt like they were never in much trouble. <laughs> You didn't wait for him to say he promises. And of course, to save on the CGI budget. Oh, no need for apologies, they kept you waiting way longer than those 30 seconds or so. This is taking an awkward amount of time to get started. Whoa, what the hell? He looks like he's already gone three rounds with Goku and he hasn't thrown a punch yet. Oh, never mind. I guess he's all healed up. I didn't even count them, but that was way too many exhale and then inhale cliches. Oh, I must admit that I made a couple of jokes about who my thought was Piccolo's kid, but after a brief Google search, it turns out is in fact not his son. In my defense, though, he's a smaller version of Piccolo, and I hadn't seen the anime in like 13 years, so yeah. I'll go ahead and remove a sin, though. Yeah, maybe you two should be backing off a little bit so you don't just get in the bloody way again. Dude, that is enough clapping! I'm getting fucking triggered! Net cracking sound effects brought to you by www.shockoverloadingsoundeffects.com You need shotgun reloading sound effects? We got you covered! I wasn't going all out, but I am now cliche. And with that, modern feminist version Goku was born. Super Saiyajin Well, no, it's got God in the title, so chances are he's already attained it. Otherwise, it would be almost Super Saiyan God. Oh. <laughs> and in the future, he can't just take a video, it has to be pictures. Well then, they really are just shitty fathers who don't give a damn about their kids or their wives in that case. <laughs> Annoyingly, Frieza would be good at anime sins. Also, I wasn't going all out, but I am now cliche. Don't know where this big old rock formation is because we certainly don't see it when Goku is hit over that way a minute earlier. 
Holy balls, almost four entire minutes of OP and previously on. This is easily the longest I've ever seen. How about you give him the bean before you start having a catch up with him? Wow, they actually made this moment way better in the anime than the movie, that's for sure. In the movie, you never really felt like everyone was actually dead when they were dead, and mainly because it wasn't really shown like it was here. Plus, they added some decent music to it as well. So here, I'll remove a sin. In fairness to him though, he did find better than you and everything. <laughs> Whis doesn't do anything to set the record straight. Just wanted to point out that that's factually incorrect. I mean, you will eventually get there no matter what speed you're going, as long as you're going. Well, this is certainly taking a long time to explain, especially when you don't say anything. Then it probably would have been better to stop it before they started fighting. How the hell do you know? You didn't even know the things existed until like 60 seconds ago. Dragon Beebs. Yep. Great husband. Yes. What? Well, that seems like a largely wasted scene then if he's not coming along after all. I mean, we don't even get told what this conference is and why it's so important. It's just said and then that's it. No, we just said it for no reason to be confusing and mysterious in a really weird and random way. Might be nice if you know you told her from time to time. That, um, that sounds exactly like what Vegeta told you not to do, you little pervert. Does he get visited by nothing but elite patrol people, or is every spaceship in the galaxy that shaped for a perfect fit? It's funny, but it doesn't really make sense. Like, at all. Her beeb sag because she wastes precious questions? I'm confused! <laughs> Robot fart! Bear nudity. No. <laughs> then both firing hand pistol laser guns at the gong, because if one times it's slightly wrong, then you get an odd double gong noise, and well, that's just confusing for everyone involved. The narrator stands inside the square with them for some unknown reason. This goes on for some time. This time they randomly went back to only one person hitting the gong. 
These two need to sort themselves out. Different freezer, same shotgun reloading sound effect. I wasn't going all out, but I will now, cliche. Just a slight variation of the normal one. You should really just knock him out of bounds now. Aliens freezer. I wasn't going all out, but I am now cliche. Also, why isn't he going blue head? Because that's currently his final form as well, isn't it? <laughs> to be fair, this match was never looking bad for Goku. The previous one was for sure, but not this one. Although as clearly stated just now he didn't lose, he won the match because you cheated like a little bitch. That's what she said. Why are you even still inside the square, dude? You're gonna attack him, bro. You've been hovering there for ages now. When Vegeta breathes in and out, his head changes size. <laughs> that isn't menacing, that's more like a childish, up to no good giggle more than anything. <laughs> CGI. Oh my god, I made the joke earlier and it turned out to be f***ing true! Okay, I'll remove a sin here because it was genuinely a robot fart after all. Who'd have thought it, eh? Yeah, you're right, Goku should just get a job at a subway or something and STOP SAVING THE F***ING EARTH EVERY FIVE MINUTES YOU DUMB BITCH! Well, that'd be a bloody change for this anime. Well, this is an easy one. Beat him first and win the match, and then teach him how to do it. Naruto run. The latest Super Saiyan Blue, in stores now! Wow, he really didn't get that far considering all that walking away he did! In that case, then, he wasn't completely hiding it, he was attempting to hide it, and I'm sure that's what you meant to say. What are you asking him for? He's the weakest bloody one there! What? What?! What the hell does that mean?! And that's what happens when you chat instead of hitting him. Would it not have made sense to actually go and get someone who is still really strong and still do the same ruse? At least that way you still have a full team of strong people. It's alright! Pretty much looks like he broke his foot during that last attack! Ew. 
0.5 秒に拡大された俺の時飛ばしを超えること。I gotta call bullshit! It on that one. I mean, if he were able to increase his power five times over like that, it seems really silly that it took one fight with Goku in his 1000 years alive to bring it out. It's the second time you've asked that, dude. Make a fucking note of the answer or something this time. Yet, when the younger guy fought and lost against Vegeta with him being knocked out, the ref called it. Hell, the ref was also about to call Goku's match when he clearly wasn't knocked out, but then didn't because he physically answered saying he could carry on. <clears throat> Jesus! Yet another I wasn't going all out, but I am now cliche. God damn, they love putting a ton of those in every few episodes, don't they? Ah, who are you kidding? It's not gonna fail, is it? Okay, I have to hand it to them. This was straight up fing awesome. You guys kind of laughed when I removed the sim for enjoying Gohan turning super in Resurrection F, and now I can kind of see why. It's because you've all gotten to see awesome scenes like this, which surpass a normal transition to say the least. But yeah, anyway, this was totally badass and enjoyable as hell, so take a sin removal. I'm glad he did, because it takes you like 30 seconds to say five damn words. Still, though, seems really dumb to risk it all for absolutely no reward other than getting to fight someone at their very best. Oh, who cares if it affects the entire Earth? As long as Goku is happy! Okay, normally I do the super loud ha 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 thing here, but I genuinely laughed really hard at this. On top of that, I thought it was excellent how Hit dealt with the situation right at the end, so I'm easily removing a sin here. Okay, weird looking version of Stewie from Family Guy, we fing get it! At what point does this become awkward and you remove your hand from the shaking zone? <laughs> Snubbed? <laughs> the wishy dragon is a dick to planets. <laughs> well. This isn't the best animation I've seen Dragon Ball Super come up with in the last 41 episodes. In fact, that was pretty poor. Oh, it's backwards! Very clever. Yeah, let's hope that Gohan doesn't have another precious fucking conference to go to this time. Or who knows, maybe he'll have a doctor's appointment to look at his persistent rash and thus, although he'd love to attend, be unable to. <laughs> Why even invite him though? I know he's good for comedic relief, but he literally did nothing but sleep the entire tournament and thus having him at the celebration mill seems largely redundant. Yeah, and like I said in part number four, why don't you let Goku go ahead and chill and work until he's older and tell him to stop saving the earth whilst he's fucking at it as well? Oh no you won't! No! No you won't! Shut the fuck up then! <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't mean the little guy can't have feelings, so drop the attitude, dude.
Mirasa. Isn't that a saying normally reserved for a surprise visit or meeting and not when you've invited somewhere to a specific place at a specific time? <laughs> Even though she spoke under her breath and very close to his face, everyone else heard it from over there. The idea that Goku can count to 100 trillion. And removing the ew and doing so with pleasure. Seriously? After all of the planning they just went through, he goes and blurts it out like that? Can we stick with, but you not having an appetite is beyond unusual? It's odd when you start referring to your significant other in the third person. Putting a stethoscope on his eyeball. Why, why, why are you, why are you poking him so many times for? Why? Why would you do that? Picture frame with nothing in it, cliche. I gotta admit, I don't think those curtains would actually be able to meet in the middle of that giant ass window they've got. I find myself asking the following question in reference to these statements. Why? As far as I'm aware, and I like to think I've been paying a fair bit of attention these past 43 episodes, I can't think of any reason why they'd randomly target Goku. Also, what are they hoping for? To kill him, or what? Oh, so... So everyone can just talk and breathe in space now, huh? Okay, then let's go with that. <laughs> huh. Wonder if he's a bad guy. A pineapple. Yes, Trunks, that's what he said. Good job, take a biscuit. <laughs> this cloned version of Vegeta looks incredibly surprised for some reason. Why? Why would you take your eyes off them, dude? Why would you do that? Why? I don't understand. Tell me! Okay then, the best question I have is, why are you defending it entirely on your bloody own then? Surely it could have been entrusted to someone or some people who can actually fight. あの時やつはトランクスを吸収するのを一瞬ためらった。俺の精神をなるほど、俺は他のやつのパワーを奪ってまで強くなろうとは思わないからな。Oh, nothing to do with the fact that he should kid then. I genuinely thought that would be the fucking reason. Oh, how wrong I was. さすが俺の息子だ。だがお前にこの俺が倒せるかな。well, if you're apparently an exact copy of Vegeta in literally every way, then you should already know the answer to that question is... No. Confusing Dragon Ballception! Trunks would be good at ill by yelling when I was about to go ahead and ill them four. Giving yourself away before you attack, cliche. Just lucky it worked, really. This is by far the longest three minutes I've ever experienced. Why, it almost feels like it's been ten minutes since they mentioned that he'll be dead in three minutes' time. Oi, <laughs> 
And the award for world's greatest and most thoughtful father goes to... <laughs> Not really surprising given that it's now been three minutes since I made the it feels like it's been ten minutes joke. Wow, you'd think it'd be seriously uncomfortable to throw your arms back that far whilst running. Just look how far back they swing when I slow it right down. So let me get this straight. She's been working on this thing for an entire year with no sign of the bad guy attacking. Then all of a sudden when they're mere minutes away from leaving, he turns up. That's like a huge reverse ex machina that massively benefits the bad shadow man. Don't know why you're so shocked by the idea of an entire world being taken out by one individual, dude. I mean, so far, Freezer has been able to do it, and we know Birus can as well very easily. <laughs> Just use a sound clip of a real cat, not some woman doing a fucking meow. It's weird. God, he told you to keep going, you spanner! Okay, now you're the spanner because she just gave her bloody life to allow you to get away and you just stood there. Well, coming back to this from episode 50, I know she's not dead. Wink! <laughs> Not really sure it counts as a plane so much as a rocket, but do go on nonetheless. Yeah, alright, you're just a teacher. You go teach or something, alright? Okay, this was bloody hilarious. We're moving in. Ew. I've got to say I'm really enjoying this anime and this was an excellent end to the episode with great music so it's deserving a second ew removal in a row. No. Assaulting a child. And a dog. And an alien? Well, you know, you did turn back time after Freezer destroyed the Earth, so how about being a little less preachy? In fairness though, your lives were never threatened in any way. So in the city it's dragging a huge lorry through the street, but right in front of them it's not even pulling them forward? He went ahead and destroyed the time machine whilst you numpties were stood around watching despite knowing that he was likely to do so after seeing your reaction to a tip over and hearing you say the time machine. Idiot. He, uh, he got pulled into that black hole just a second ago. Did you miss it? <laughs> I just wanted to take this opportunity to say rest in peace to the voice actress of Bulma Hiromi Suru. She died the day before I wrote this script, November 16th, and was just an excellent voice actress and a real loss to the anime world. Rest in peace, and in her honour, I'll remove five eels. No, the other capsules you haven't got and aren't holding. Well, she could have just left it on the shelf or something, dude. You don't know where she stored it. Does training with him oddly increase a man's handsomeness level? 
That's what she said. What? What's what's going on? What's going on with her eyes? It's like she's got damn spider eyes or something. There's eight of them. I don't know. It just kind of looks odd. Just wanted to point out, Trunks, you've been holding her hand for a very long time. I mean, it's been a long ass time and you're still holding on. Like I said, merely pointing it out, it is a little creepy though. Well, no shit, Sherlock. You mean her future self from the future is older than she is now in the past? I'm blown away! This is really good. How do they know what all of this is and looks like, though? Irony. No. I believe in the anime world they refer to this as filler trunks. This is by far my favourite arc so far. I'm absolutely fucking loving it, truth be told. It's got some great emotional music and voice actors and the scenes from the future are put together incredibly well. Just had to show some love for this and for the moment Trunks found Gohan dead who had lost an arm as well, it was really sad. I'm going to remove two ills here, one for this moment and one for the one I just mentioned. Perfect reflection in a cup of tea! Wow, the old dude just got finished saying about your pure and calm heart and now he's all like, let's go and fucking kill them all! Something tells me he may end up changing his mind about the young lad after that. Stop! 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 Right, but all that could well have happened in the future, couldn't it? No! If that were possible, he wouldn't have just said you can only go to the future. Listen! Dude, I don't get this. They're not humans. I let it go at first, but now it's been said multiple times, and as you can clearly see, they aren't humans. Aww. That was sweet. Pretty lucky all of these turtle things can find multiple tree stumps always in that exact form to use as their preferred weapon. Give them spacey! I really fucking love this anime. But clearly we do, dude. We've had wars and done some bad stuff, but we rebuild and do some cool stuff. So clearly, we're learning. You're just trying to look for an excuse to turn bad and start destroying the human race, like some kind of a douche.
Nice of bad boy fake Goku to allow her to have some monologue time rather than just killing off all of the humans he despises so much. <laughs> Wait a minute, you can't go ahead and cut it f***ing there? Show us what bloody happened that could have possibly allowed for that insanely powerful dude to somehow lose track of you in a straight tunnel! <laughs> I put it to you, good sir, that you're actually in fact looking over to your left instead of dead in front of you where the food is. Don't be weird. If you're excited about the food like everyone else, then bloody look at it. Net cracking shotgun reloading sound effects. They can't hear you now. Well over three minutes of bloody recap. It's only ill worthy because I'm desperate to see more of this anime and it's cutting into the main episode a bit too much. Giving yourself away before you attack cliche and unlike when you did it with the fake Vegeta in part five, this time it didn't go according to plan and failed you, you fool. Not only that, Trunks, but his fucking top also repaired itself! Power level wise, I'm a little bit confused here, because Zamas seemed to be holding his own against Goku at the start, and keep in mind in Goku's blue form he's massively more powerful than the Super Saiyan, but here Trunks is actually getting the better of him and that's really confusing. Yeah, d don't worry guys, it takes ages to finish it, so just move out of the way. No, he left you to die at the hands of those two. Your deaths would affect many people. For example, Bulma would never return to her normal happy self and the Earth was done for. Yes, he saved you! You could have said all that out loud though, just to give him an actual reason. These gods have got a CRT TV! Also, I don't remember ever seeing any cameras during that tournament, so one must wonder where the footage has come from. If it's some kind of god-like footage looking at... ability, then you'd think it would be like an orb or something and not a really old-style TV that they view it on. <laughs> Good luck. If it's anything like the god tube I'm thinking of, they'll fuck you over each and every way humanly possible. Then perhaps next time you should bloody ask that then. They decided to move Vegeta inside of the building first before giving him a sage bean, even with a big old hole in him. No! Um, was he meant to have missed that? Yeah, it's what anime beams are made out of. <laughs> Greedy little gits, you just said you were giving them to her. Not much you could do though when you're locked inside of the time machine, to be fair. Oh my god. That was fucking awesome. Well, there was nothing on his plate that looked like this. So, what the hell is he eating? Kurinin-san to kekkonshi. 
Yeah, I don't even really want to go into the logistics of how an android can have a baby. Well, that's one way of doing it, I guess. If you're Kevin Spacey! No, absolutely not. Also, if she's in need of the old binox to see what's going on, then chances are she can't hear them having a chat at a fairly subtle volume. Let's be honest, knowing what they know over there, at this point in time carrying around a shotgun is just a hassle. It's not doing anyone any good unless you want to use it as a back scratcher and hope you don't accidentally shoot your ass off. スーパードラゴンボールを。ノープ。この巨人な肉体を持って全宇宙の神々を殺した。神様全部殺したっちゅうんか。ノープ。はははは、ナイス。テイクセンオフフォーダワン。ブラックは俺がやります。なんだと
見てなさい光よりも早くタイムマシンを直してみせるから Unlikely おめえの相手はオーラだって言ってんだろ神に指図するなと And yet twice now you followed through on the orders by continuing to fight Goku <laughs> Just just attack him please She was on the top of the yellow tower, but after the building caved in, she randomly ended up in the opposite tower? <laughs> With the distance between them and how fast he can fly, the idea that these two managed to get her down and then head in there for a quick chinwag is not likely. The idea that he still has yet to reach them. <laughs> Finishes his sentence about wondering what's happening to his partner instead of just straight up teleporting over there to find out. 3 minutes and 33 fucking seconds of intro and recap. <laughs> Okay, Jesus, just one of you bloody go already. Could you have not just gone to another planet and made a planet of gods there? I mean, there's all this talk about humans messing up Earth, but there's tons of planets and shit. Just seems like a great deal of effort, that's all I'm saying. Oh my dude, seriously, that's enough. Every single bloody time you say that, you get beaten down within like a minute or two and keep on promising the same thing. Keep expectations low with a, I'll do my best lads, and see how that goes. Assumptions based on dust and smoke in the air. After being hit by 16.5 billion of these attacks, this is the one that ends up breaking his armor. I wasn't going all out, but I certainly am bloody now, cliche. No one has felt the need to remove the extremely sharp blade from the tiny child. Ooh, these repeated jump cuts didn't look all that nice. Should have done something smooth, I think, with a little zoom in and out or something? Um, no. But as far as you're aware, you destroyed the only time machine a few episodes back. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that was pretty damn cool, even for an ass pull. Nakayoshi-sama, kono sekai no zenosama te mada irun kana? Zenosama desu ka? No one how dare you ask that. <laughs> yeah, all right, mate. She didn't specifically state when you two start going at it, did she? <gasps> okay, they can go ahead and take a sin off for this. That was actually emotional enough to almost make me tear up a little. Dragon Raider, Dragon Raider? No. You're on the world's smallest island, dude. Take a guess. 
No, he's just stood in front of the Dragon Balls and Shenron because someone else summoned him and then had to go to the bathroom urgently and YES HE OBVIOUSLY DID! That is sounding really weird. It takes less than four seconds to arrive. <laughs> Why are these guys sharing a seat? I feel like dropping a sim for this episode and pretty much leaving it to that. Oh well, I guess I'll at least watch it through. No, they just know each other's names because of a one in a billion guess. In the world, yeah. No one said a word about the universe. I'm such a sucker for that damn music and when he does this. This goes on for quite some time. 45 long ass seconds of, we get it, he's meditating and stuff. Six chews on a grain of rice! That there are three cockroaches behind the fridge. What's it matter if the information happens to be relayed whilst consuming food? The cockroaches remain behind the fridge! These women, who are fully clothed inside of a store, are acting all freaked out because of a few dudes coming through. What gave it away? The whole running around, looking about and shouting where are you thing? Aren't you totes super duper smart and everything? Because of gender equality and stuff. Eee, nose job going wrong. In that case, then, you shouldn't phrase it in the context of a question asking, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I don't get it. I don't get it. What's he uh What's he laughing about? Search harder. It's an elevator with a single square room, dude. Also, assuming it's a he, you bloody Nazi racist bigger alien scumbag of doom. What <laughs> Nope. Keeping a massive family sized photo at your window so that burglars always assume you're home and chilling by the window all year round. No, he said Barney McGee, who is a ruthless half badger, half human from the planet Numptyton. <laughs> As opposed to flying straight away, giving both of them a much wider field of view. You quite literally in every sense of the word are one though, and I don't mean like it was literally the hottest day ever today, but the non-dum-dum version of you are literally a child. Flat palms on shoulders equals a one-way ticket to Tickle City, population one, namely Goku, who looks like he suffered a stroke. <coughs> Shut up. Ah, 
Father and Husband of the Year award goes to the absolute moron for wanting to head off and fight someone who just killed him in one hit. No pun intended. Also, he's making a big old assumption that Hit chose to stick around on the planet. No, this is just a telephone salesman attempting to sell stocks of unused printer paper, you silly little bitch. Well, that's a silly ass question given that this is Dragon Ball Super and no one is ever trying their hardest. Hardly. I mean, Hit isn't even really attacking him. It's just one attack every now and then. No, and how dare you infer that? <laughs> okay, go ahead and take a sit off for that one. Ah, look at this easy to navigate set of books. Oh, I want to read Pink and Small Pink Line, Volume 3 of 5. Easy! Who needs pesky words on the spines when you can do it with colours like a complete moron? <laughs> You know it is. You know how I know? Because we just watched the lengthy advert which told us all of the details together, dum dum. So don't be stupid and stuff, idiot. What? No bullet holes or at the very least any traces of any weapons fire behind him. <laughs> As opposed to just, you know, smiling. Considering that's a building on the right, he's flying really bloody slow. After attempting to murder him, he doesn't actually go on to tell him why he believed the parasite had entered and was controlling him. Gohan is acting like he's inside a scene in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And yes, that was a motherfucking Jojo's reference. Based on what though exactly? Because everything we've seen so far, they both seem pretty happy. Husband of the Year. Well, you know, in fairness to the lad, he's probably never really gotten over the fact that he's lugging around a really deformed claw in the end of his left arm. Poor bastard. None of this wakes up the baby. Why not just go Super Saiyan? After all of that, he once again puts him inside of the same container he broke out of last time. Except the fact that he doesn't dress like it all the time, much like at the entire start of the episode. One of the strongest people in the universe can't do a proper push up. Maybe you guys should concentrate on, you know, arresting the two criminals instead of chatting. Um, this would probably be a good time to tell her you were injured saving a dumb officer who stepped in front of the gunfire.
ベジータがここにいるわけね。Not to mention all of the dead people then? Oh my god, Krillin, shut the hell up! Now you might be sat there around the world saying out loud, Hey, Anime Sins, chill a little bit, would ya? And I say, Hell no, dude, or do that, I won't. And the reason I say that is because that little git has been making that sound for like two minutes straight as he realised all of the many times he's died since the show started, and it's annoying. <laughs> Fuck off! No, you couldn't be more wrong if you tried. This woman has got a bad case of extreme open mouthitis. It is where a woman's mouth is extremely open all the time. It's very unsightly, in all honesty. In all of my videos where I've seen this cliche pop up, I've never seen it as many times as I have in these past eight episodes alone. For me, it reads as a bit of a lazy writing technique because it wastes time and takes up a line of dialogue every time someone has to reaffirm something they've already been told. They can go ahead and start taking two bloody sins for this. <laughs> ブーさんは私の言った通り遊びに行っていたんだ遊びだとバージルがまだ本気じゃないのはその通りです。He wasn't going all out, but he certainly will now, cliche. Yeah!第七宇宙相手にもならな。Assumptions <laughs> based on dust and smoke and debris. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Surely, if that's allowed, you'd just constantly be throwing some of those full HP bean things down there, and the match would go on for a bloody year. Fair enough, at least they addressed it. Good on them. <laughs> Neck cracking sound effects brought to you once again by www.shotgunreloadingsoundeffects.com. What? Well, that's some BS since Gohan was standing up at the end. Thus, he was clearly still in the fight for those few seconds whilst the other was knocked out. I suppose at this point it's worthwhile to give another sim for the fact that Gohan didn't want a full HP bean after being poisoned, even though the whole point is to save their universe from destruction and thus save his wife and kid. Cracking walnuts and recording the sound using a microphone from the 1960s used primarily to capture old cartoon sound effects brought to you by 1960s cartoon walnutcrackingsoundeffects.com Uh, assumptions based on the earth thing should probably start with that then, in that case, blue and purple Stewie. Aren't you being rather insolent yourself now with your questioning the ultimate being in the entire universes and his way of dealing with things? <laughs> nope, he's crying Schindler's List style. Well, there was the risk that they'd get erased if he lost, wasn't there? I get confused with all the comments about who they said they'll destroy and who they said they'll spare. Let me know in the comments if you know if that sin is correct or not. 
正義のヒーローを辞任している感じですかね。Well, that's just telling him exactly what the guy has already said himself at the end of the previous episode. I think he was after a more accurate and exact answer as to who he actually is, if you know the answer. Goku would be good at anime sense. Jesus, f would you two get on with it already? In fairness, the guy hasn't mentioned any of you once. All nut cracking sound effects also used for popping back in a dislocated shoulder. Vegeta, sorry. I'm using the training machine. Exactly. I'm going to get my body numb. Yeah, because in that giant ass mansion slash facility, there's definitely no room for a few medicine balls to sway around on, is there? Krillin, I'm fine. I'm going to start the training. No, you complete and utter racist. I can't believe you'd spew such hate filled, vile filth from your pie hole. Shitsure? Wilson? Nani kate ni haite kiteru da? Ima taihen na jiki nan da be? It didn't barge in, you little bish. He merely walked the fk in all calmly and stuff. So chill, you little librarian bun! Yapa hidare. Eh? Picking it up to move it around when it's got wheels. So just move it yourself, bruh. Sexist. No, we fucking guessed and wanted to bring up a completely random topic of conversation and just so happened to choose those exact words that actually mean something of importance to you, you fucking numpty! Wait. At the end of the last episode, Gohan just said, I'll drop by later, and now he's met up with Goku prior to arriving at Krillin's? Well, that makes no sense at all! In this town, Krillin just busts up criminals' internal organs and then whisks off to the next crime instead of doing something silly like arresting them. When handcuffs haven't been invented, but hover cars have. Ah, oh, remember that day when we took the photo and she was still on tiptoes and also lost her arms? What a great day that was, in spite of the arm losing incident and everything. Yeah, because he's clearly not making use of it in his daily job of protecting and serving the people of the city, is he? No, he's only making good use of working out if he's doing some martial arts stuff because that's all that's important at the end of the day, isn't it? It's no wonder your daughter lost her arms with an attitude like that! Says the woman who made it sound like entering it was a matter of great importance for the future of Krillin. You can't see his eyes from that distance, and especially because he's facing away from you. He did say per person, and if there's ten of you, then that equals one hundred million, doesn't it? Yeah, in 38 hours, dude. It kind of is, though, when you go ahead and jump in the middle and help out one side, though. It pains you to say, even though if you're indeed correct, it means you will not be erased? Everyone keeps talking like this, but isn't it just nothing except assumptions constantly? It's clear these guys have no special power telling abilities since they got Goku's wrong all the way through his match a couple of episodes back. Yeah, 
Wait, did he move over towards them or was he just stood super close to them the whole time? Is it liable to be stolen? Is it at risk of attack? Why does the poor guy have to stay up there and watch a spaceship and doing so without a chair to sit down in? I would like to one day see that man in a chair. These poachers would rather spend tons of money on all of these military peeps, their military vehicles and various weapons and technology instead of going after a slightly less defended island. Don't get me wrong, I'm over the moon they're getting their asses handed to them, but it seems rather illogical. <laughs> he does this, but then doesn't pull the trigger like a massive moron. <laughs> Ah, fair play. But this won't mean anything to him because he never met and fought you in the past. Don't feel bad, this is Dragon Ball Super. No one is ever going all out. Everyone has just a little more in them. Everyone has just a pinch of extra strength to give. Opportunistic win comes at just the right time to add some much needed oomph to the scene cliche. Yeah, but that doesn't have to happen if they win, and on top of that, the dude's got a wife and three kids, and this is his attitude? The hell, boy! No, and that's actually really offensive due to the sexist nature of the statement you just made, and now I'm boycotting you as a result and everything. Dude, just look at it! It's so obviously a spaceship man! Do you have to ask the question? Don't make me keep saying stuff like, No, it's a basketball and all that! Oh, oh no, if any of you guys had started to make your way over to it at the start instead of continuing on a little chat and stuff. No, a better question would be, what do you mean hypocritical? Don't just say stuff and then not back it up. Explain yourself, bish! Mmm, <laughs> seems like a great deal of effort to have it installed into your nose though, in all honesty. You know it's nice they wrapped it up in keep out tape, but also then cut some holes in the tape where the windows are, because a nice view is worth any amount of unnecessary effort. Well, unless you're planning on wishing for an entire crew to run the thing, your holiday is going to be running around checking stuff and running back to steer and all that crud. No, not pretty much. That's exactly it. Yeah, they're so carefree. Almost as though no one has actually told them about it yet. Ankle hurting sound effects also courtesy of shotgunreloadingsoundeffects.com. What do you think? Just how many sisters named Cauliflower do you think he has? Mm, I don't know how I feel about what I just saw. I mean, they knocked out a dino to eat its tail. It's alive and got away, but it's really kind of messed up to be honest. Don't know how I feel about that one. New 
Look at that shit. Hmm, well, this is getting really fucking weird. So these guys are just floating around and bashing into stuff like a bunch of floating zombies and yet somehow they're causing fires? Hmm, well that was an awfully quick turnaround, wasn't it? Not much to say about this episode since the vast majority of it was fighting, but I want to remove a sin here for them actually ramping up this battle really quickly. I like that a lot and I'm a big fan of this music as well to be honest. Why didn't you bunch of absolute boneheads think to do it at the start then, considering you know full well that the whole universe is at risk of being erased should Goku and crew end up losing? You know, for a group of gods, you're a bunch of fucking dum-dums. <laughs> Drop all your money, or, or, or else we'll just RPG your asses anyway to pieces. Uh, we can't quite get our threats and demands in any semblance of order as of yet. And do they also assume they're going to be able to spend whatever money they steal in the new universe as well? I know they're hardly a bunch of geniuses based on what we've seen so far, but, but still. Despite the fact that no one is allowed to kill anyone else in the tournament and thus there's no risk to life in the first place. Nope. Yeah, because it may involve a bad case of early onset diabetes. Tugging one another? Oh, oh really, Gohan? Do you think it might be? What gave you that strange idea? Would it not be quicker to just teleport, though? I'm sorry Goku, did you think he was lying when he called saying it's an emergency because Boo has gone to sleep and he won't wake up now for two months? Goku is like the king of asking dumbass questions as well. Some of these elevators were randomly designed to move faster than other ones right nearby. You can't honestly tell me that the entire universe has 10 people defending it! Yet you all agreed over the last few episodes that that would be a bad idea? Considering Gohan is supposedly a pretty smart dude, you'd think it has spread the word that they're not supposed to be telling the others that the universe is going to be erased. If this was just Goku, I wouldn't send it since he's dumb and all, but Gohan, you should know better, bruh. Mary Sue.
すぅ隠しときたいってご飯の気持ちもわかるだけど俺たちずっと一緒に戦ってきた仲間じゃないか So knowing that fact why say you and the old android misses are pulling out of the fight? じゃあオラまずエンマスマンに頼んで直接フリーザーに話しつけてくるえできるのそんなこと私には無理だよスーパーサイヤ人なんてカリフラの姉さんと違って Oh just what this anime was missing someone whinging and annoying sounding <laughs> I can't do it shut the fuck up 思いがけずすごい戦士が仲間になったかもですね。メリースー・タイムズ・トゥー力の大会です。ゲッテム・ショッカンズ・リローデッド・ボイフリーザなんて厄介なやつをわしに連れてこいってかん知ってんかフッキング・ノーあっ、エンマから連絡があった。If you're willing to change your mind that easily with literally no convincing, then don't get all pissed at the start, you old bish. Um, why not crush Universe 7 first? I don't know. Seems pretty damn straightforward to me. You're not though, bruh. It's called lion. Bachan got miyake yokose te itten da kendo. Game tsui hito ne. Wakatta, yoi suru wa. When did Goku take a picture of number 17? Hehe, yakusoku no miyake da. Toda, Bruma kara moratta n da. Hmm, orai mon ka. He didn't say she gifted it to him, bish. He said she gave it to him. There's a difference. Saying someone's name is still a talking normally cliche. Oh, God damn, I'm such a sucker for that beautiful music. Giving away your plan before you've even enacted it like a huge dumbass douchebag. Maybe try checking the 70% of the rule book that you didn't look through to find out? Wait, they're meant to be talking to each other? But their lips aren't moving and stuff. Hey, animators! You forgot the lips moving bit! <laughs> no, this is where they're going to be serving up hot and cold beverages. KFC and McDonald's have also got some stands going on too. Your goddamn pun intended fucking Chinese chicken ball with sweet and sour sauce on the side. But not for me, because I'm a vegetarian. But you do you. So. Kill me! Yes, my boy! Well, they did mention that a few episodes back at the end of the last mini tournament. In fairness, they've had ages to hurry the hell up and transform. It's their own damn fault for staring at the pretty lights of the battle. That old dude who talks really slowly would be good at anime sins. Hold up, so you're saying the entire universe you come from is all a garbage like dump? I can fully accept that for a planet in weird fantasy anime land, but not an entire universe! 
どうしたそれでも殴ってるつもりか痛くも痒くもないぞ All right, bro. Drop the attitude, yeah? He's obviously making contact with you with his strikes, and so yeah, he's hitting you.、Uh, if you said, Are you trying to hurt me? then that'd be a different story. Don't be a douche. Just don't be. Just don't do it. Stop. Oh, so not you, Billy Bob Thornton, then, no? Vegeta somehow being unable to hear a massive clamoring metallic robot running up behind him. You fail as a Saiyan! Krillin, for fuck's sake, dude, he literally just said his eyes don't work and thus the light had no effect on him at all. Today? It was for his job as a police officer! This is where the anime can be annoying to me, guys and gals. I mean, this form Goku is in holds the power of the gods. It's having no effect at all on Steroids Girl over there, and so I'm left thinking, she's randomly more powerful in this form after less than 48 hours of having done anything to get that power. I'm sorry, but that's just lazy ass writing. Oh, she's super powerful. Just because. Despite it having taken Goku like 50 years to get that much power. But whatever, she's shy and stuff, so she just gets it right away in everything. Oh, yeah, baby, let's get this fire started. Ow! It kind of looks like a fish of some sort of description, doesn't it? Guy looks like a fish took steroids for 30 years and then shaved every hair on its body. I wonder how they stretch out these episodes. Justice! You know, with the whole feeling the need to shout out loud your chosen name for every single move you have, you'd think the enemy would start to catch on and, like, I don't know, counter it? Or run or something? Cyclops Ray of Destruction! Oh, he's gonna do the Cyclops Ray of Destruction. Because I better hightail it out of here. Goku was attacked just now with the Justice of Flash! And yet here he is climbing out of a solid floor. It's like he buried him and then flattened the floor of the ground above.、Uh, at least give me some jagged rubble or a little hole or something, animators. Help me to help you! <laughs> Goku expected a warning in the middle of a battle royale to protect each universe from destruction like a real fucking moron. Hi, <laughs> Oma! What is it about the fact that he flew past you, ended up in a strange flattened grave, got out of it, and then said, Ow, ow, not even a warning! That made you think this is a ruse to go and beat the stuffing out of your annoying little friend. I wonder how. They stretch these episodes out. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like you. Ha! <laughs> no, that's racist. Oh, 
Oh no! If only I was able to attack! Can it be considered a surprise attack when it takes this long to get ready? Hold up, I thought they had to fall off the side entirely. I mean, a few episodes ago, Krillin went off the side and used an attack to propel himself back up onto the platform. The gods are playing favorites! Um, he introduced himself earlier on. Remember, I took the piss out of how long the whole process was and everything? <laughs> Randomly giving away his attack. I don't, I don't understand these people. They'd be like, I love my universe and I got family and everything. And then they go, oh, I got a powerful attack. I mean, oh, I'm going to use it. It's going to happen in a few seconds. So dodge it or counter it or do whatever you like. We good to go? Ready? Just, just fucking attack already! Did you think there was a chance she was going to ignore the fact that you're hugging her teammate and just ask nicely over and over again? I'm not sure it's ruthless when you're an enemy and stuff anyway. In short, don't be a bitch, bruh! <laughs> Why not just do the move? <laughs> what do you mean, curses, bruh? You're acting like you just found out about it and he literally just told you via your funky ass eye and ear communication thingy device. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Yeah, almost like some kind of merry fucking Sue. <laughs> Cue the curb. Oh, Goku, you really don't give a fuck about your two kids, your wife or your grandson, do you? Because what's the universe getting erased if you can have a decent sesh fighting someone real tough, right? No, the human thing to do is to protect your family, your friends and your universe. That's... well, it's three ladies, Krillin. I mean, what do you think it is? How do they stretch this anime out? Oh, yeah, boy, go ahead and take a sin off for the fact that someone chose to finally do that. Oh, you can seriously go right ahead and take two for the fact that you started from the goddamn start and cut nothing out. What the actual fuck? <laughs> ha! More like ribs and brioche, am I right? <laughs> This is taking too long! Ha! More like a maiden's char-grilled piece of lard, am I right? You know, it definitely strikes me that this pose is being massively overused right now. I mean, this is likely the fifth or maybe even the sixth time this exact pose has been used just this episode. Let's have a do a squat or maybe a backflip or something different every now and then. I feel like you're making a reference here that's really in truth something you just pulled out of your ass. Uh, this makes no sense. I've never heard about maidens being attached to having flexibility of heart or anything like that. Sounds made the flip up to me. 
息つく暇なき縦横無尽の攻撃から逃れる術なし。You know, unless of course you happen to be number 18, who in this very moment is literally escaping her relentless attacks from all directions as you speak. So once he's actually stopped dodging for a few seconds, this is the time she sees fit to keep flittering around in the background as though she's still attacking him instead of just attacking him. This bitch be crazy! Why are you ask it in the form of a question when that is quite literally exactly what you just saw occur in front of your tiny little eyes? <laughs> On top of being out of bounds, which is actually what counts. <laughs> More like a maiden's third helping, am I right? More like a maiden's Angus beef. I'm getting bored of these myself, to be quite frank. SMASH THAT LIKE BUTTON! Stop doing this! Wait. What fist? One more time! Not gonna lie, this girl's attacks are straight up getting hard to listen to now. Ah, tick 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 you say that, and yet that's pretty much all you've been doing and all anyone else has been commenting on since you've been doing it since the start. <laughs> Although attacking Gohan like this wouldn't have caused him to fall off the edge, and if it happened to kill him, it'd have broken the rules and then gotten his universe erased regardless. So that makes no sense. Hmm, f you, Krillin. Oh, this gonna be good. <laughs> Smash. Aqua. Oh, stop. Um, why does it look like the bunny rabbit is speaking hits line? All this time he's essentially getting bad news that his little idea won't be working, but my goodness me, he keeps that special happy smile on his face till the very end of the sentence. <laughs> He was flying backwards straight into some jagged debris, but when it's long monologue o'clock, it all disappears, allowing him to fly backwards unimpeded. <laughs> well, you know, there's room in front of you, Hit. Uh, then there's only his glittery lines for like a meter, so basically just hop over it and hit him. Pun intended. <laughs> No, it didn't blast him away, did it? All he did was fall to his knees. Not sure where you got that one from. No, your attack completely evaporated his entire body. Did you know your attack could do that? Oh, it can't? Yeah, I guess he got away then, didn't he? Yeah, you fucking dumb dumb. At some point, you'd think he'd be stopping his assumptions. I mean, the old dude took out two of his friends really easily and then just knocked him away with no effort. Uh, just how weak does he think he is? This is without getting into the whole aspect of whether or not they have humans in their own universe and their knowledge of the human aging process and stuff. 
このドクターロタがなぜドクターと呼ばれているか教えてやる Oh, I know! It's because you got a medical license! Doesn't that make whoever was firing it incredibly dumb when it was obviously just a rock, though? Oh, yeah, I think I know two little twerps who will be camping their next game of CSGO. <laughs> Why are you slacking off, says Vegeta, despite the fact that Tri Eyes over there is bent over a defeated opponent while he's just walking around with Goku? How about you drop the assumptions, bruh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he's one of them, isn't he? So he created three clones. But Vegeta, and hear me out here, bro. If you're wanting him to stop trying to buy time, then why are you allowing the conversation to continue? If you're wanting it to stop, then stop it by attacking or doing something. You know what I mean? It's about using that old spiky noggin up top. That's all. Well, this is doubly irritating because firstly, the old man failed to achieve doing this to freeze a light. And so would he know exactly how to manage it? I doubt it. I'd let it go if it was successfully done to him and he picked up the technique or whatever, but in this case, no. Secondly, it took Goku ages to get it right with being taught it over and over again, and Freezer B just gets it straight away. I call baloney! <laughs> More like pretty much cannot stop herself from eating 16 Big Mac meals! <laughs> <laughs> And how would that happen given that one of your universes would have been destroyed no matter the outcome, you, you little egg shaped headed boy? Oh, I gotta hear that entrance sound again. There's no sin here, I just thought that was incredibly funny. Oi, egghead! Don't be talking smack about an entire universe based on one guy! You flipping racist! Homophobe? Sexist? Homogenist? Dude, you were like three feet away when the scene cut to Gohan, and yet we hear you walking for another six seconds after that. Did you double back and start the walk again because you hadn't finished your monologue? Masaka <laughs> Aitsura. But, but, but why not just throw Frost out of the ring? He's weak. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, oh, baby, that's good! I'll go ahead and take one off the total for this. Considering the amount of jagged pieces of rubble all over the entire platform, you'd expect to see more than just two holes. Especially since one of those holes has only just now been created. Because just where did all that rubble come from? Well, that's making quite the assumption that literally no one else is nearby and able to see what you're doing, you little freak. That bastard. Oh, okay. But then, why did you mention it being good that he couldn't escape and also how it's a blind spot? Freezer, you do things that make no sense all and employ to simply trick us. You're a bell end hot point. That's another brand of Freezer. How did you hear them though, Amana? For clarity, this is a popular freezer brand apparently. Because we've never been told to the best of my knowledge that you've got super hearing or anything like that. By all means, let me know in them comments down below if I've missed something though. 
Whoa, I gotta say, it's pretty awesome to be seeing two other powerful people fighting for a change. Right, well, I've got a little one. You know you're my boy, don't you? There's no doubt in that. But man, once your time skip has failed and fallen flat on its ass like a half dozen times in a row, you'd think your little wee wee shaped head would be informing you to try something else because it ain't working. Well, you know, even I assumed he'd try something new. Apparently not, though. <laughs> Oh my god, you're so f***ing dumb! Even in a situation like this! He hasn't seen us yet. Yeah, we best take him out too sweet. <laughs> the f*** is all that noise behind me? Oh, he turned around and deflected it. What the hell did he know? Two people complete one full sentence together and this just doesn't happen in real life. I mean, neither do green alien dudes, but I feel like this is more unrealistic. Ah, you know what? Good on them. They gave Hit a plan with all that doing the same attack over and over stuff, so I'll go ahead and smash two off of the total whilst you go ahead and smash that like button. <sighs> Do not get me wrong now, I like this a lot, I think Hit is awesome and the scene is good, but my prediction here is that Goku won't just knock him off the edge or anyone else for that matter. What will happen is he'll break out of the time cage thing, of this I'm positive, and it'll no doubt bug me a little that people lollygag instead of knocking... gag him off the edge! <laughs> Yeah, that's all fine and good, but my god, they could have ran over and knocked him off the edge and it would have taken like an extra three seconds and then they could have gone on to do whatever the hell their job is. Feels like even Kirito would have some, some mild trouble versus this guy. But seriously, they seem to have made him rather OP. Especially the whole, he's using his willpower and his glare in order to do stuff. F*** off. He never said anything about an assassin's pride. Wouldn't that logically have been your plan anyway and you gave it away to these two for pretty much no logical reason? After a hugely long period of everyone standing and or sitting around in silence, Fish Boy continues to emit red stuff while sleeping, and Goku says his name and something random whilst the gods talk about Goku being a little tired, but still good to go spirit-wise and shit. Why don't you two damn freaks actually listen? You just announced that at the end of the last episode. Little freaks. <laughs> Oi, older version of All Might, what the hell are you talking about? Naive. For that to work, Goku would have had to have sat there saying, there's no way these robots are going to attack me whilst I'm at 1 HP. Then it would work. No, and how you managed to get that from what he said makes no sense to me at all. You also don't lose the battle whilst fleeing, so that's also cool, I guess. Can you really justify saying all that talk when he made a single comment? Is a stupid ass thing to say. How is that a favor? Even as a joke, it makes no sense. I don't get it. I don't get it. Do 
Dude, angles. Angles and stuff. He was clearly gone, but when Vegeta catches him, he's only just off the edge. So you can take that elsewhere. But, but how Vegeta? If you win, he loses and dies. If he wins, you lose and die. There's no third option where you're left with two and you hug it out and then the two Stewies decide not to blow everything up, bruh. Oh yeah, baby, they addressed it. You're Given that Vegeta smashed you across the entire arena with one attack, I'm gonna go with no. After the Tiny Saiyan takes out the fat ball, he comes across Fridge, who he fights and loses against. Goku is then kind of saved, but not really, by Mary Sue number one, who beats up a few Roombas attacking him and then proceeds to challenge him, while Vegeta fights against the guy in red, who has a veiny forehead and is kind of mean to ship valets. Bro, four damn minutes of intro and recap? The hell? Oh, and then for good measure, they went ahead and tacked on another 40 seconds of recap footage. How the hell do they stretch these episodes out? How do they do it? Super Saiyan 2 no sake 3 ってやつになる方法を教えやがれ。かまねぞ。Why? <laughs> Why though? Motomoto Karifra san no nakani, so that can no chikaraga nemu teita to you koto des. Yeah, of course, that makes total sense. She's a time skip saying she does 100 times less work and achieves 100 times more perks within a tiny time frame. <laughs> How does that not make sense? If she turns blue by the end of this anime, I'm dropping another one onto the total, I swear to god. Uh, sadly, I can. Because why spend years advancing yourself physically by almost dying and getting pushed to your absolute limits time and time again against greater foes than yourself when you can concentrate on the tingly feeling in your neck and advance that way instead? No. Why would she hold back for your sake when you are fighting someone else? Ah, yeah, but don't forget, you could just go Ooh, and pull out a bum hair or something, and that's probably what's going to cause these two to go to Super Saiyan 3. Okay, this dude is getting mildly irritating now because no one is listening to him, but he keeps yelling regardless. Just like have them acknowledge him once in a while. That might help, but this just seems pointless now. Ah, it's criminal slash mental patient Goku. You know, given the whole no eyebrows thing. Uh, you see, this right here is where the excitement is gone for me because Mary Sue number two beat Goku one on one earlier in her steroid form when he was using God mode. So why would I be like, oh, look, she's impressed by seeing that much power when she's already seen so much more already? How the hell is this happening? I'm not even in front of the laptop. What the f is going on? Oh god, it's not even painful. I just I just don't know why it's happening. Anime scenes. If he somehow manages to, then we might as well just throw the whole power level system out the fucking window, to be honest, and say, hey. It's random, because if he beats her as Super Saiyan 2, but he can't beat her as Super Saiyan Blue, then what the hell are we even doing here? Man, Goku is phrasing it and remembering it with his misty memory like it's an event from a while back or something. Like, bruh, this literally happened within the last 20 minutes. Plus, she's all steroided up and looks exactly the damn same. So, yeah, it's the same thing again. After a long period of powering up bull. But steroids girl essentially goes nuts for steroids whilst her girlfriend tries to calm her ass down. She then powers up a bit more and then calms down and gets her eyes back in her face where the pair say some lovey dovey bollocks and then decide to attack Goku because why the hell not I guess. 
Were you ever not together? I mean, I can't remember a scene where I haven't seen your annoying asses right next to each other. The Japanese love to say we'll be together forever in their anime. No, you won't. Nor would you likely want to be. You know when they do this, it starts to become painfully obvious that they're stretching out the episodes. Okay, so what we've got for this battle is four minutes of powering up, two and a half minutes of belly animated chatter, and three minutes of intense staring at one another. So, what do we think? Huh. <laughs> but you, uh... You thinking about it, huh? What's, uh... What's going on? Guys, what the... What the, what the fuck? Keep staring. They keep staring. Can't get out of the room. They just keep staring. Well, I like it. I like that. Not only does he allow them to escape, allow them to power up, allow them to reach a new stage of power, allow them to fight together, but now she's actually talking to him as well. Get the out of here! Is this girl just fucking retarded? How do you know you weren't even anywhere near him when it happened? Did you read it in the Tournament of Power newsletter? Does this line even make sense after he's caught you trying to finger blast him from behind? I mean he's like, ooh I'm gonna shoot you Goku and then Goku is like, I see you bruh and then he says, watching you fight each other is perfect for me clearly not though dude because you were just gonna sneak attack his ass Pick a lane! Oh shut the hell up, that's three times you've said that line this episode! And now she's successfully created a smoke screen. That's just being factual. <laughs> According to the plan? What plan? You've been in front of Goku the entire time and not mentioned anything about a plan once. Or did you just sort it out between yourselves using a series of baseball nose touches, winks and the tip of the spiky hair? <laughs> Hey Goku, why not use your arm which is free? How though? No it's not! No. Oh my god, this anime seriously needs to just bloody decide what is actually out of bounds. I mean, you got Krillin, he falls off, he blasts himself back up, fair enough. You got others who fall off and instantly disappear, then you got these two who fall off miles away and then jump back, and that's a okay. Pick a lane! One would assume you'd know this though, Goku, given that you and Vegeta did the exact same things like 60 or so episodes back. Did you forget? She throws him into a huge cliff type boulder of debris and then he's just laid flat on the floor afterwards. <laughs> so uh, is that a new glove that he keeps as a spare or did he just come right over to where Gohan and that was, pick up his detached arm, take off the glove and then put it on his new arm? These are the questions I need answers to. <laughs> Oh, nice of them to just so happen to both be right there! Why not just give him a chance to answer your question first? May just be passing on by! Yeah, don't help out and potentially get us to a position where our families don't get destroyed! Oh, but this means nothing because steroids chan beat him in this form at the start of the arc. Ah, oh, fuck it. Pervert. I wasn't going all out, but I am now cliche. And yet earlier on, you said it was an ideal perfect match to watch. 
勝てるマジで勝てるぞそのままいけケフラー Jesus Christ, is it just me or did this guy end up getting on your nerves as well? Let me know in them comments down below! All right, gonna take one off because let's face it, this is actually pretty damn cool and the music fits the tone nicely too. Isn't the idea though that Super Saiyan Blue is the level of the gods and what he's done here is to surpass the gods entirely? Well, let's be honest, it was highly unlikely to be anything else, was it? It could be the one opponent he's been facing the last two episodes, or the bad Thai food he had the night before. Now, either or. Yeah, I mean, why not? Goku strived to achieve his newfound power, and she, well, she just gained hers by literally being near him. For how long do you want him to get ready? Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, assumptions. He is quite literally dodging you in midair whilst you're saying that. No, and that's actually quite homophobic as well, old man. Hiding it? No. Just not using it? Yeah. Ha! <laughs> More like, I love spaghetti. I do love spaghetti, though. You gotta think about angles here, pal, and also how close they are. Just say the one on the left or the one on the right, or else confusion could run rampant. Sorry, what's it called? Something fist? Ooh. Do you really think it'd ever be likely that they would just stand around chatting right in front of someone whom they know to be incredibly powerful? That'd be like me talking in arm's reach of Brock Lesnar because he's tired after a fight. I could do it, but I wouldn't risk it. It was like 30 seconds ago she told him that she was going to take down Goku so just watch over him, and 30 seconds later he's twisted that into if we take him out she'll thank us. You, you, you're not that smart, are you? Assumptions. I mean, no doubt you're right, but still. Assumptions. But, 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 what? Coming from you? What? Krillin, why do you say her name in every situation? Number 18 on the toilet? Ha! <laughs> number 18 having the number one! You know she did. You know she did. It happened right in front of your eyeballs. Fuck. Oh, this is so damn dumb now. She's like, I have a kid and husband I'm fighting for. She tells her that and yet she still comes out with a stupid line. How come one without love? Like, this is just dumb. I'm curious, what the hell were these guys even doing the whole fight just now? I mean, I get when they say multiple events are happening at the same time, that's cool. But clearly these four standing here happened at the same time as the fight just now. So essentially they've been stood there ready to fight for several minutes now. After losing to the androids, that can droid, the overweight lady has since slimmed down and talks to her universe about love. Shocking. And stuff while Gohan and Piccolo fight Piccolo's brothers from another pair of mothers who then do something shiny that makes them strong or something like that. Meanwhile, Goku is fighting some old dudes who feel the power of love and they get randomly stronger. Zaroi! Zaroi! Zaro Zaroi! Multiple people completing one idiotic sentence together, cliche. Oh, so last time he had to physically stick the glove onto his hand, and this time it just straight up materializes there, because why the hell not at this point? 
for you! I wasn't going all out, but I certainly will now, cliche. Yeah, they can go right ahead and take one off the total for that. I wasn't going all out, but I am now, cliche. A short while later, Vegeta Chan ends up besting his opponent, who is then tripped out of the arena by a seemingly invis opponent, who then goes on to touch everyone inappropriately until Piccolo decides he's seen quite enough hashtag me to action for one day and steps in to turn himself into a light bulb and scares Harvey Weinstein and his invisible let me touch your cloak away for a moment. Afterwards, Gohan fires some of his own light bulbs around the area, making dust or something, and they find the chameleon from Hunter x Hunter and then beat him up a bit and ultimately knock his ass out. <laughs> For the record, Gohan, that's a little bit of a late reaction right there. Ah, don't worry, he was basically a moron for standing right at the edge of the arena when fighting an invisible foe. I was genuinely shocked they made him go out that way. It was so dumb! The remainder of the episode is Goku at number 17 fighting what is essentially a bug. <laughs> 13 minutes from finishing equals the end in this guy's head. <laughs> Such attacks won't work to push you back really far when the game is to push people off of edges? And he worked that one out. As Android 69 and her brother Android 397 battle a tractor, Gohan steps in to allow Vegeta and Daddy's son time to put their feet up for a bit and takes on the three kitchen appliances on his own. Following this, the Wincest hentai androids do tons of finger blasting and kick the Roomba out of the arena winning their match. we then led to the moment the squeaky dog toy talks about implementing a devilish new plan. <laughs> Plan X. You seem pretty excited by the notion of it, but then your first reaction is like, fear? Why? How come Gohan is so big in the reflection, dude? That doesn't make sense. Following this, the three Brotatoes decide to attack together with some back and forth energy shizzle going down, and it's ended by a sneak attack from Gohan against the three story set of kitchen appliances and their master, Dr. Pepperoni. However, having failed to knock Dr. Pepper out, the three decide to stand around and listen to him and allow him to enact a final plan for some reason. <laughs> oh, if only Dragon Ball Super fights were like real life. I think that ends this fight. Oh, really? <laughs> Ow! What the f bro? What? You said, oh really, and started laughing like you had something planned. Well, I do have something planned. My final attack. Ah! Would you stop? Well, stop trying to do sneaky shit, dude. Well, what happens now? Oh, God. They don't know when you just give up. If we're calling out annoying faults, you guys don't know when to just beat an enemy, so you're done with them and can just move on to the next. I know which one of those two I personally find more annoying. Okay, when Goku and crew went, I let it go. I mean, they did it one by one, but still, whatever. But then both iPhone 7 and iPhone X did it right afterwards, and then the whole loser plus God of Death crew did it as well. This is an anime cliche, and this is me pointing that out and shocking you all. <coughs> one hell of a long ass transformation, again. He's for some reason very shocked by the giant monster knocking away his attack, but so far he's fought against a ton of people in Super Saiyan God Blue form, so why would this shock him when he's attacking in regular old Super Saiyan form? Essentially, he should have a good idea by now that pretty much people are tough. He's fought many of them, this isn't surprising. <laughs> Wouldn't they just be calling it a secret technique simply because it's secret and thus no one really knows about it? It being a secret technique has nothing to do with the power it's displaying to everyone. Now if it was called an ultimate technique then that'd be a different story of course. No, and where the heck did you get that from? It may have something to do with all five of them screaming at the top of their lungs during their attack. Yeah, alright guys, they got hit a single time. It's hardly losing, is it? Uh, 
How about you don't talk for Vegeta, whom for all you know has like a twisted ankle now or some shit? Meanwhile, this robot thing is stood there like, whew, best give them time to chat. Why you ask? Because Dragon Ball Super! Is he retarded? Tells her to run while she's being held up in the air. That's double fucking stupid. What the hell knocked her unconscious? She was fine being lifted into the air and randomly passed out after being saved. Look at these absolute morons. Each and every damn one of them is facing away from their attacker. What the hell? I like that. Just about every single enemy they've kicked off the edge has disappeared as soon as they go over, but he's falling for like 10 seconds and way over the edge, and yet still he can be saved. The gods are playing favorites. If anything, it's hovering. Androids have special instincts. Like fried chicken. I knew you'd say something dumb. Okay, fluttering things in the wind. Cool. What else? We're counting on you! Just don't forget that you're contractually obligated to stare at them between battles for several minutes or we'll lose our sponsors! So all joking aside, I've got to say here that two things this anime did very well is, firstly, the use of CGI for power-ups and auras and stuff. They just look great. Secondly, it's several pieces of music used throughout. I'm not saying all of it, but several are very good indeed. So they can take one off the toe for this. <laughs> um, to win and save his universe and family from destruction? OBVIOUSLY! Oh, that's so dumb. Okay, I don't know how it happened, but I gotta admit, that was pretty damn cool. Especially seeing Jiren actually taken aback by it purely in terms of shock. <gasps> was that a motherfucking Jojo reference? giving yourself away. Justice dab. Never to run. Stop asking questions you already know the fucking answers to. Once again, I can't help but point out how they seriously messed this up badly. Like I said before, we've had opponents fly off the edge and instantly disappear back to the stands. Yet he who's fallen all this way and yet is able to hop all the way back up to the stage. It makes no sense. Eh, that's doubtful. It's everything you have right now. Let's just go with that. You are working hard to sell me on the notion that every roughly 18 minute long episode is really just one minute passing by. It's not working very well. Yeah. 
Seriously though, what is the sense in an attack like that given that constant up close attacks are what was actually pushing him to the edge? These energy attacks literally never work. <laughs> Why not though? I wasn't going all out, but I most certainly am now, cliche. No. So to be clear, Gohan is now faster than the speed of sound, yeah? Whew, this anime keeps on changing up the power levels and rules every five minutes, doesn't it? Gohan couldn't beat Super Saiyan Blue back on Earth. Super Saiyan Blue is roughly the same as Freezer Gold. Freezer Gold almost lost versus this guy, and now without even powering up, Gohan beats him one-on-one. -on -one. Makes sense, except it doesn't! <laughs> Says he will make it quick and easy, but does still spend quite a while talking about it beforehand. Uh, what the hell? Spoiler alert, bro! Maybe he doesn't have sweat glands, though? That's not a no, Piccolo. He is actually on the offensive since he's constantly attacking. How dare he help out a fellow teammate to help you save your wife and kid from being destroyed? Wait. NANI?! I wasn't going all out, but I blah dee blah blah well now cliche. Okay, so firstly, I'm greatly confused as to why this would ever be seen as an effective technique because A, we've seen numerous times during this arc people being buried under rubble from attacks, they just burst out from them uninjured from the attack or the rubble. And B, this guy is now an incredibly powerful god of destruction. So if Freezer Gold is like, rubble on me, meh, whatever, then logic thus dictates it'd be less than nothing to this dude who messed up Freezer Gold like it was nothing. Makes no sense to me at all, but if you disagree, let me know in those comments. Why isn't he using this barrier when he has infinite energy? Why isn't he moving away instead of literally just standing there and getting attacked? Why not move though? Really seems like this should be internal monologue though, given that Topo Big Hand San knows nothing of your deal with cabbage. Although this attack took six and a half weeks of screaming to charge up. It was still very cool and had one of my favourite tracks from the Trunks arc playing as well, so they can take one off here. Wasn't going all out, but may as well now cliche. I've got to admit now, after so many episodes of watching this arc, these two are actually genuinely now getting on my nerves. Every time we cut to them, it's pretty much the same damn overly simplistic comment with a describing word following the comment. It's kind of annoying now. I thought he'd acknowledged them as warriors. Silly Jiren, forgot about that, didn't you? Gravity is officially retired now in this anime. It was a huge obstacle to everyone for 30 odd episodes, and now, now it's cool. <coughs> Well, that could have turned out badly if it just hopped away, leaving you looking like a fucking idiot for just giving yourself away with a tap on the shoulder and a little chin wag with him. Yo, 
up, take another one off the top. Okay, let's be real, that was awesome. Especially kicking in with that music as well, no less. Super Dragon Ball de nani o negao? Jiren couldn't hear them talking and scheming earlier on when they went a huge distance away. For that, I left a sin off the board. But now number 17 can hear the clown from IT talking from a huge way off and in a normal volume no less. What does that even really mean though? Strength forgives even the past. You're talking nonsense whilst trying to sound intelligent, fish boy. Okay, so how they dealt with this epic moment was brilliant. The voice actor did a great job and the lines written for the moment were fantastic and actually emotional to a degree, something this anime often struggles with. They need to stop giving this guy lines. It takes him fucking forever to say them. Oh no, stop that shit now, seriously. Even the clown from It took like two minutes to describe Jiren's backstory. So the idea that all of this episode took one minute to finish is just dumb. <laughs> Oh, what a nice memory! That time when he shrugged off his loving wife for no reason at all, other than to be a dick. You know what? This kind of explains away the dropout sins from the past few episodes. It could be argued that those earlier off the edge and straight up losses were due to the stage being intact. In that case, I'll remove like five, I think, as I honestly can't remember how many times I've sent it over the last few months I've been working on the series, giving the benefit of the doubt here. Okay, whoever thought it was a good idea to purely give Goku lines during this episode and the second half of the previous episode merely stating VEGETA and NUMBER 17 in Japanese of course is a silly billy. It's been done like six times or more now in the equivalent of one full episode. I gotta admit they created some amazing music for this change that takes place in Goku. It's really badass and just kinda sends shivers down my spine. For the final time of this series, this is taking too long. And for the final time of this series, you two can fuck off and stop being so damn irritating. And for the final time of this series, saying someone's name instead of talking normally cliche. Oh god, go ahead and take one off here. Holy hell that was brilliant. Is who saying that? No one speaks up after. It's like a question, but not really a question. What are you talking about and to whom? Quite easily if it's anything like the end of the previous episode, by throwing some punches and kicks super fast I'd imagine. He says this like it was a fairly even affair. It wasn't even close. What the hell happened to Jiren's face? I can't make heads nor tails of this. That number 18 is what I've referred to many times as I wasn't going all out but I most certainly and definitely will bloody now cliche. Please see previous fucking sin. Okay, 
Okay, so for the last time, they can take one off the top for this awesome music, which just lets you know that stuff is about to go down. And also, I've got to say that Jiren's voice actor is very close, in my opinion, to All Might. He just sounds great, to be honest, and I really enjoy his work. <laughs> No. I must say, I really enjoyed how they ended things. This is worthy of one last sin removal. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody! Mahuba in 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Sarabada. One for all. She's gonna eat me! She's gonna eat me! That's a lot of damage! Uh, this is taking ages! Nathan Burr, Burn Without a Word, Arias Alibari, Eden White, PK Fan, Ali 50, Ryan Anderson, Isael Caldera, Chris Harris, Yona Shao, Manolo Saucedo Munoz, Luis Hernandez, Joe W, Yuki Ali, Manuel Morales, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Sentimento, Jeffa 6263, Silver, Master Tank, Boogie, Aurora, Kevin Nauta, Stephia, Brendan Kriya, Storm 970, Spirit Spinner, Mr. Waffle 64, Theodore Quackens, Kaj Borzelman, Jordan Samuels, Amya Humya, Crimson Shadows, Foria, Kyle Farmer, Buzzbomb 3000, Mr. Berrigino, Console Peasant 12, Adora Blue, Yagai 7636.